Even the most Apple hater cannot deny the design of Mac Mini 2024 is sweet and for the price $5 million, this is beast. But as a visual dude, let's get real. Can you actually live with this 512 GB storage where your mobile phone is probably more than one terabyte? And also without no USB-A ports, Imagine how clunky it might look when you have connected all your cool devices to this Mac Mini. We will check out Mini Super U iX Pen Mate kit with Mac Mini 2024 and try to find out does it worth buying it if you are working visual heavy such as VJs. Mini Super U sent me this product to review and share with you guys and I told them only if I like it and number 2 which is even important only if I feel this is any important to VJs. So there you go. Okay, the packaging is good. A heat sink and a screwdriver and some spare screw is also given. The build and finish is good. Feels like Mac Mini itself, probably the same material. Let's check the connectivity ports. Beside the SD and micro SD card reader, we have a solid 10 Gbps USB-C port. Very very useful. There's another 10 Gbps USB-A port on the front. Now let's check out how the Mac Mini sits on this dock. Let's connect the USB-C cable from the dock to the Thunderbolt port of Mac Mini. By the way, I didn't like the long tail of USB-C and there's no other option to change this to a shorter one. Maybe I will fold and use a cable tie. Oh, check out how it looks when the dock is sitting on the table. The grip is super. It's rock solid, grip to my desk, just like I would want it to be on my desktop. So I worked on a project few days back with projection mapping and Mac mini. Also, I have released a breakdown video of that project in my channel. You can check it out after this one core of that project there was Mac Mini and Mad Mapper. We had two projectors and one reference monitor. Mac Mini was doing robust with this whole projection mapping setup. The thing was the whole project was generator based that means there was almost no file and the project was very light so I passed pretty good. But after installing three software in this Mac Mini I almost ran out of 80% of storage without even any stock footages or visual loops. Imagine my life with this base model. Mac Mini M4, the base model price with 512GB storage is $599 and with only 1.5TB upgrade, you have to add $800. That's insane. But there is a catch in the benchmark level. We are going to find it out in the later part of this video. <laughs> this looks cool, right? First of all, let's take a look at how much Apple cost for additional 1.5 terabyte upgrade from the base model. It's $800. And let's take a look at how much this dock cost. And the SSD inside cost. That means we save. Installing the SSD is very simple. The dock fits wide range of M2 SSD sizes. Make sure you got the right size. Use the given screwdrivers to take off the back lid. Then clip the SSD inside the slot. You can't just fit it wrong unless you are that stupid. Then plug the screw on the top. We are going to peel off the heatsink coat and place it facing upwards towards the cover. That way, after you have placed your back cover, this gets glued to the back cover, not harm your SSD. So, this is how it looks when it's on the desktop. Let's take a look. Oh, by the way, this is a dock for your mobile phone or your iPhone or your iPad or any tab. I think this is okay. Now let me explain my VJ setup for today, set up with this dock. So from left we have Novation Launchpad Mini MK3, this is a Logitech keyboard mouse combo and this is a Tractor F1, this is a beast by the way. And we have a Focus Street 2i2, Scarlett 2i2. So the best thing so far we have with this dock is a USB 3 
so we can have a faster hard drive external hard drive other than the install ssd inside this dock also we can use that for our sound card if we are using a really big sound interface with 18 or 32 channel interfaces what is missing if you ask me to be honest i feel this tail is really long i have reviewed another dock from the same company minisuporo that dock is exactly same price at least for now that one has a 4k hdmi port for the same price of this one but that one does not have usb 3.2 like this one there had been a lot of argument with the primary release docks with the wi-fi issue but this one fixed it a lot for sure if you put them on a benchmark with the dock or without the dock the amount is pretty negligible but i personally would not go well less unless i need to or i'm chilling at home for professional gigs until today i must stay wired wired means wired whatever cat but wired also in my studio i would prefer to stay wired that's why i would still go with network cables now let's get the burning question what is the data transfer rate difference between Apple internal storage versus an externally installed storage like this. Let's try a benchmark. For this part, we're going to use Blackmagic Disk Test because this gives closest important info what we visual people understand. First, let's select the internal storage and run the test. The read speed reaches somewhere around 2000 Mbps and the write goes around 2.8 thousand. Oh my god, that's crazy. Let's check out at the bottom. With this speed, we can use almost all resolution, just cannot use 12K DC60 as if it's big of a deal. Now let's compare the speed of SSD we have installed inside the enclosure. Let's select the target drive to the drive we have just installed. Now, let's run the test. Okay, so the write speed is somewhere 900 and the read is 831. Comparing to the Apple storage, the difference is huge, just like the price. But let's wake up and see what are we actually missing. Okay, so we won't get 12K DC 60 and blah blah. Okay, so 12K, 60, blah, blah, I get it. As we can see, the difference is significant in terms of speed and transfer rate. But we can see we are not missing too much of item other than 12K, 60, blah, blah, blah. Let's try the whole comparison of data transfer speed in our terms, in our language with FPS. Now we are going to check out a composition which is running from the local drive of Mac how much frame rate we are getting. So first, we are going to try to run some videos from internal hard drive of Mac Mini. So this bank is called Bluefire. There is a full bank of all 4K visual. So we have stacked them up at least five in a column. So first one has no effects and the frame rate is solid 60. Let me blend in the second layer. This layer has some FX which is heavy, blur, still 50.8. Okay, let's go add another layer. This has a linear cloner. Now it's putting some pressure. The FPS is 49. Let's add another clip. This one has a twitch. The frame rate goes 35, pushing it. The last one has delay RGB. This is supposed to put even more stress. Now let's transfer the whole project into our external drive which we have installed via this enclosure and see how does this frame rate perform at least with Resolume. Let's play the first footage. The frame rate is 60 FPS. We are happy. On the second clip, let me mix it somewhere. Let's add a
let's put it into add mode try to make it put more pressure on our data transfer cpu gpu or blah blah you or data transfer let's play the next one which has a linear cloner just a preset by the way the next one is something to do with twitch let's mix this one let's change the blend mode to even weird oh this looks okay we're just trying to make some something annoying but stressful to the data transfer so we have reached 32 so that just proves if you are running a basic vj project you can do just fine but if you are looking at some crazy performances stop looking at ways to save money speaking of vjs and av engineers check out our new channel called all about state show there we talk about lights laser stage leds anything and everything that is connected to shows i bet you're going to love it and hi my name is zuna sabir ahmed i'm from a beautiful country called bangladesh and check out this video next where i reviewed another mini super room dock with a different form factor but the same price range but that one is a little different that has some plus and some minus check that out to know more see you in the next video bye bye